Hello small groups. This is for the week of June 13th. I cannot believe we're already in the middle of June. And so today we looked at the Hagar story, how Hagar is finds God in the midst of being in the land between. So that reminder that her story is a really hard story. There's a lot of injustices in it. And I didn't touch on all those injustices, but know that they exist. And we see that she is a slave girl and she is definitely mistreated in the hands of Sarai and then who becomes Sarah. So we looked at Genesis 16 and we looked at Genesis 21, her story. Remember, she's one of the first people to talk to God and the first woman for sure. And she names God Elroy, which means God who sees. And God asks her to name her son Ishmael, which means God hears. And so we see that Hagar and God have this beautiful relationship. She realizes when she's in the land between both times, she's in the wilderness, literally in the wilderness in the desert. And when she's in there, she discovers that God is there with her, a God who sees and a God who hears. And she reminds us that that's who God is. We also looked at Psalm 23, and I invite you to read that Psalm again this week as you look at and see how God hears and God sees um, when you're in the deepest valley, because God is always with us when we're in that land between. So I just want you to think about when you've been in that land between, when did you discover that God was with you? Did you know that God was with you? What were those things that um, maybe other people did that let you know you weren't alone? What were those things that just kind of gave you that assurance that you were going to get through it? Um, and then now that we're, if you're out of the land between, congratulations, wonderful news. Uh, but now our role is to help others who are in the land between. Because guess what? God asks all of us to be God's hands and feet. And so that means reaching out to others, to listening to that Holy Spirit nudge, because the Holy Spirit will nudge us. Oh, I, my life is a testament to that, um, but we just have to listen. And so even when we don't know what's going on or what exactly to say, we're just called to be obedient and to reach out. And again, sometimes we don't know the right thing to say. We're just called to listen. So no matter where you are, if you're physically stuck in the land between, if you're out of the land between, God has something for us today. Whether it's to remind us that God hears us and God sees us and God intimately knows what's going on and is there beside us in that deepest valley, or whether it's being God's hands and feet to help assure others when they're in that land between. All right, friends, hope you're having an awesome week and are staying safe and praying for more wonderful weather like today. All right, friends, have a good week.